back. I'll be there. No, now! All right, hold on. I'm coming. Jeez. What are you doing? What's with that goofy outfit you're wearing? Junior, you got to help me dispose of this drum. What is it? Where'd that even come from? Stay back. Don't, don't get too close. Whoa, whoa, hey, whoa. I don't know what this stuff is, but it was here when I bought the shop. All I know is it's some highly dangerous toxic chemical, and you don't want to breathe this stuff in. So here, you got to put this stuff on. All right, Pa. I guess I'll put your stupid costume on. Hey, Junior, this stuff is highly dangerous. Last thing we need is this stuff leaking out. If it leaks out, we're all screwed. Gotcha, Pa. Yeah, that's the last thing we need. Hey, Tim. Ah! What you got in the drum? Slippers! Slippers, you can't be back here unless you got one of these special suits on. Yeah. Oh, come on. Just tell me what's in this drum. I want to know. It's top secret, Slippers. Oh, no, it looks like the cap's a little loose here. Slippers! Oh, more than gasoline, pal. What do we do, Paul? I think he's dead. Stupid slippers, I told him not to get near that drum. We're just gonna have to dig a bigger hole, and we're just gonna have to put the drum and slippers in the same hole. Hurry, go get the shovel. Ah. Hurry up, go get the shovel. Ah. <laughs> Anymore. It's probably just affected Slipper. Just bury Slippers in the drum and we'll forget this ever happened. Very right, Pop. What seems to be the problem with this one? Uh, customer said uh, it's running wide open, running wild. Probably uh, government's broken on it or something, I would imagine. Uh, it's not the government, it's the governor. Uh, you think it's the governor? Yeah, the, the government, governor, whatever, yeah. Something to do with, with, with the speed is out of whack. Well, start it off. Let me hear what's doing. All right. What you're gonna look for on your tractor if it was running perfectly fine then all of a sudden it just started running wild right there the butterfly or throttle plate screw came out and the throttle plate came off and the throttle plate is probably either stuck in this tube or stuck in the head now there's going to be another symptom. If the motor sounds like it's knocking, like it's got a rod knock, that means that little brass screw is stuck between 
the head and the top of the piston and it's hammering that screw and it's going to make a knocking noise like you got a rod knock. It's not a rod knock, it's that little screw is stuck in the head. Now this one wasn't knocking, so maybe it passed through and it's in the muff, muffkin. But if it starts knocking, that means it's in the, in the head, it's the piston is hitting it. Now it's a brass screw, so it's not magnetic, so you can't stick a magnet in there and fish it out. You might be able to blow it out with compressed air. If not, you're going to have to pull the cylinder head. So I'm going to go ahead and pull the pull this manifold off and we're going to find that butterfly. You might be able to just get another screw and lock tight it back in. If not, you might want to get a, a throttle shaft kit from Briggs and Scranton and put a new throttle shaft in, a new plate and everything. But I'm going to go ahead and pull this off. Take a peek inside. See what we find. Where's that Mr. Throttle plate? Oh, there he is. There he is. He's down inside. Let me get a light. See? There's Mr. Throttle plate. Probably fish that out with a magnet. Magnet on stick. And that's like wedged. Yep, I have to get some long needle, needle noses. There's a plate. Two screws, both screws came out. So there might be two screws in there. All right, I done pulled the carburetor off so we can reinstall that throttle plate. Uh, it would be a good idea to replace this O-ring if you have the O-ring. Maybe you got a carburetor with the metal manifold, then you might want to put a new gasket. But this one, look at it, it looks pretty bad. So I'm going to replace that. And in case your uh, choke rod comes off, you might want to mark that hole or take note of that hole where it's at. And then take the two nuts off the back here to remove this. And now you got to remove the studs. 5 16 deep well, or a wrench if you got a wrench. Now this has got a gasket on this side. All right, there's our throttle shaft. It's, it's not too, it's a little worn, but it's not bad. So you're going to want to check to see how worn it is or how sloppy. See, there's a little seal in the top, too. You can look up all these parts through Pro Parts Direct. There's no kind of damper spring or anything on there. So then we need two new screws to go in there. Well, luckily, I saved them screws. I don't know exactly what size they are. All I know is they're little tiny baby screws. They're like number four or something. So I got me a little kit and I got me some some throttle plate screws in here. Let me see if I can find any that fit. Okay, I found two screws that fit in that shaft and they got little lock washers on them. And you could see the plate, you could see where the shaft was. So we know that goes this way. Now, I got this handy dandy tool which is called a screw starter. This is a Craftsman screw starter I got from Sears. And what it does is you lock it, it's got a little locking mechanism. So you lock it on and then you put the screw in there and then when you push down on it, it holds it. Isn't that nice? It's like having a little tiny baby fingers. And I'm going to put red Loctite on there because you know what? We don't care if, you know, these screws stay in there forever. Come on, red Loctite, come on out. 
stupid nozzle stuck. Got a booger on there. A little red. If you don't have red, you got blue. Blue will work. All right, got that one started. It looked like blood at a Loctite. Give me the blood colored Loctite. <laughs> or magenta. Now, make sure it's like centered up in there. Now you can go ahead and tighten them down. Now I didn't find those old screws. They're almost like kidney stones. I hope they pass through, come out the muffkin. I don't hear a knocking noise, so maybe we got lucky and they passed through. I blew compressed air through there. Get them tight, but not too tight where you break them off. All right. Now I'll get my new gaskets and put this all back together. There's the part number of this sealing O-ring manifold gasket. That'll save you a little time. Those screws you might be able to get at your local hardware store. Those little baby screws. They're just screws. Take the throttle shaft to the hardware store and hand it to the guy and go, you got these screws? Now remember this hooks in here. Then you got your little throttle damper spring. This one was broke, so I just bent the new end on it. And then your choke lever fits in this little slot right here. That's all there is to it. Tighten them up. I'm going to check my throttle, make sure I'm getting full choke before I go putting this back on. All right, that's working. Everything's working. Put this on. Got to hook this little hose up back here. Put these nuts on. If yours has that anti-backfire solenoid, make sure you plug the wires back in. Put your fuel line on. Unclamp it, handy dandy tool. Check out Terrell's tools. Terrell tool videos. Probably could have used a socket on there. And then we'll start it up. Put the brake on. Hit the key. something really bad wrong with that tractor. He thought the motor was really junk. And all it was was them two little screws came out. See how uh, major problem can be a simple problem? And as always, that is your dinner. <laughs> all good now. We can put this all behind us. Let's cover them up. Let's cover them up real good like. Uh, there, what was that? Uh, oh crap. It's another one of them things. I knew that wasn't the end of it. I better call Pa. Uh, uh, pa! 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 Pa, where are you? There's one of them things. Pa! Uh, uh, pa! Pa! There's one of them things out there. Pa! That's one of them. Junior, quick! so rude I'm making a sale here now sir this comes with a full two-year warranty
two-year warranty, plus one of the... That things are swarming them vehicles out there. There's no chance we're going to be able to get to them, them vehicles. I heard on the radio it's about a hundred thousand of them things, Pa. We're about all out of possum stew. What are we going to do? I guess our only choice is going to be these there mini bikes. Well, these bikes out of here. Well, that sounds good now, Pa, but uh, where are we even going to go? I think if we can make it to my house on the island of Podunk Lake, we'll be safe there. Oh, yeah? I didn't know you had a house on the island of Podunk Lake. Oh, yeah, there's a lot of things you don't know about me, son. Oh, yeah. Well, yeah. Let, let's get these things ready to go and let's, get, let's just get out of here. All right, Pa. All right, let's go. You ready, Junior? Oh yeah, Pa, as ready as I'll ever be. Okay, let's oh. start these up. All right, I'll see you at the lake house. All right, I'll see you there. <laughs> didn't get them. Mm-hmm. <sighs> 